Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today's card is a really clean and simple card and I've used a stencil and some embossing paste to create this really cool glossy look. So I've got embossing paste and a Versa marker and my stencil is Hero Arts Stylish Borders. And what I'm gonna do is start by lining up my stencil at the bottom of a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm gonna hold it in place with a piece of surgical tape. I'm gonna add a post-it to one side to just cover up the part I'm not going to use. I'm gonna use my Distress inks to color my embossing paste. This is Wilted Violet. I'm just gonna put a bunch on my craft mat. And then I'll grab my palette knife and pick up just maybe like not much, maybe it three quarters of a teaspoon, maybe even just a half a teaspoon. There's really not that much because the border is pretty small. And I'm just going to kind of mush it in there and just keep picking it up and working on it until I have everything completely and totally mixed. And then I'm gonna take my palette knife and get some on the bottom and I'm gonna smear it onto my cardstock. You'll notice that this is kind of awkward for me because I've got my, I'm right-handed, my palette knife has a bunch of paste on it and I'm confused as to why last time I did this, I did not have a problem. And it's because the post-it was on the other side. Um, so I have a hard time sort of figuring this out. I'm just gonna muddle through it for now and I'll fix it when I do the next line. So I'm just kind of working horizontally, just kind of smearing it on there, just making sure that I have a really nice even coat over the whole thing. And now I'll pick this up. Uh, now I just have that surgical tape, so I'm just gonna be really careful not to smear anything. And then I'm gonna let this dry completely before I move on to the next step. So the next step is basically the same thing, except that I flipped over my stencils, so now the back is now the front. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have the same exact pattern that I just did, uh, but I am using that same line in the stencil. So now I have my peacock feathers and I'm using the same amount of embossing paste and just making sure that I mix this thoroughly. It mixes really well and the color comes out really dark, which I was surprised but really happy about. All right, so now I have the post-it on the right-hand side. So now you can see how much easier it is. Now I'm gonna smear it vertically just because it's easier to get it on that way. But then once I, then I, now I can lean over to the right since my post-it is there. And once I get to the bottom, then I can just pick up my post-it, I can scoot it down a little bit and then finish it off at the bottom. So you can see you don't really need much paste. I had a lot of extra. So now I'll pick this up carefully. And when I did that, I noticed I had a little bit of my paste hanging off the edge. So I just took a clean part of my palette knife and just kind of scooped it up a little. The paste looks really good as is, but I wanted to add a little bit something extra to it. So it is completely dry now, and I'm gonna put my stencil back on to, um, I'm gonna do the peacock feathers first. And this is a Versa marker. I'm using the thicker tip. And uh, it's basically a Versamark ink pad in pen form. So I'm just kind of drawing over this. Now you could use your Versamark ink pad. It just kind of makes a mess with the stencil and that's why I'm using the marker. Now once I get this whole thing covered, now I'm gonna take my ultra thick embossing enamel. It's just really thick, clear embossing powder. And you can see it's kind of like a granulated sugar, so it's not fine at all. Um, and I'm gonna sprinkle it over the peacock feathers that I went over with that Versa marker. You can see that it sticks really well. So if your Versa marker doesn't work very well, it could be that it's dried out. So you wanna also make sure you don't have any stray powder uh, off to the side because when you heat it up, it will create kind of a big clear bubble. I did have a few of those, but I don't think they were very noticeable. All right, so now once I heat it up, you could see how thick this looks. It looks really kind of like an enamel accent. So I am gonna go ahead and clean my stencil with an alcohol wipe because I know I got some of that Versamarker on there. And remember, I flipped my stencil over when I did that next line of circles. So I'm gonna clean it off with that alcohol wipe and then I'm gonna kind of air dry it a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my absorber and just kind of wipe it up a little bit more to make sure I pick up any alcohol that's left. Okay, now I can put it down on the purple and do the same thing. So I'm gonna take my Versa marker, cover over the whole entire thing, and uh, then sprinkle it with that same embossing enamel. And now I've got this really cool glossy line of purple circles. So I trim this to four by five and a quarter, and I'm using this big greetings set by uh, Simon Says Stamp. 
and I put it in my Misty. I'm gonna put it right between those two lines. And I felt like I needed more of a bold sentiment. You could just leave it like this, but I wanted to color in these open areas. I used a Stampin' Up! marker because it has a thick tip, but it's you have to be really super careful. Um, if you have trouble kind of keeping a steady hand, then you might wanna use a really thin tipped marker. And then I just adhered this to a Hero Arts black note card, which is white on the inside. And that is the card for today. So uh, pretty quick and pretty simple. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.